For this question, we're graphing a V versus T graph and analyzing what a sprinter is doing as he trains. So let's get started with the graph. We'll start with the axes. And we can say it's a V versus T, and we'll do it in meters per second and seconds. Okay, and to split it up, we're going from up to four. So let's do something like this, two, four, six. So it's just a sketch, so we're not getting too particular, but we should have this, the correct general shape. And along the t-axis, we see that we're going 30 and then another 20, so 50 total. So let's try and break it up to that, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Okay, and so uh, we're going to consider, so we have to start off, he starts off at 4 meters per second and does that for 30 seconds. So we'll consider the original direction as positive, and so we'll just change color here, and so we'll consider it positive, and we go up like that for 30 seconds, and it's a constant velocity, it just says that he's 30 seconds of slow jogging, and we can cut it off there. Now, it, it, we quite often block it like that. In real life, there would be a little bit of an acceleration there and a little bit of deceleration there. In other words, a bit of a curve as he drops off. But we can block it off just to show the general idea of what's going on. Now, he turns around. So I guess now he's going in the negative direction and goes at 6 meters per second. So we consider that negative 6, opposite direction and does that for 20 seconds. So again, we'll block it off, kind of an estimation without the little curves to show acceleration and deceleration as he's getting there. So um, at this point, we're asked, does the person end up back at the starting line? And so one thing we can remember at this point is that the displacement is the area under the V versus T graph. And so let's come up with your area. So what happens as he's running in a jog there? Um, and we can say the area here is the velocity times time or 4 times 30. And we can say, well, 4 times 30 is 120 meters. And we can double check ourselves. The 4 would be in meters per second. The 30 would be in seconds. The seconds cancel out and we end up with meters. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Little dimensional analysis on the side. And then we have this area down here. Um, and so this is the area or the displacement after he turns around and starts heading backwards. So here we would say minus 6 for the velocity and we have... 20 for the time and we multiply those together and we have a minus 120 and again that would be meters so takes 120 meters there and then turns around and goes faster but for a shorter amount of time and covers 120 meters on the way back so in the end um, does he end up back at the starting line yeah ends up exactly at the starting line so uh, jogs out, sprints back, and is ready for the next one. And that's that.